The owners of Kim Hwan Jewelry Store at Stockton's El Dorado Street were in for a rude awakening Tuesday morning. Surveillance video captured the moment when a group of thieves rammed a stolen vehicle into the storefront before making off with thousands worth of money and merchandise and leaving the car behind. I show on the, um, the camera here, I have two in the front. They about seven, eight or nine people. The store's owner didn't want to be identified out of safety concerns. He says he never expected something like this would happen to him. Not a good feeling because um, the thing they left here is completely damaged. The door, the showcase, uh, completely damaged. For now, his jewelry store is closed down until he finds a way to pay for and fix all the damages. Earlier this month, a second jewelry store roughly a mile away on the same street was targeted in a similar robbery. Detectives are actively investigating uh, the, both of the incidents. Uh, at this time, uh, we don't know if they are related. Raising concerns for the local community. We are experiencing uh, business burglaries on a rise. Uh, detectives are putting um, plans together where we can kind of prevent these types of measures. Police are warning business owners out there to be on alert. Number one is having an alarm uh, and checking it to make sure it's in good working order, uh, as well as it being registered with the city um, for expedited responses. Uh, second thing is we can also uh, give them the tip of having surveillance camera and surveillance footage. The jewelry store owner says he is grateful no one was inside his store when the robbery happened, but in a worst case scenario, police say simply remaining calm and complying with demands is likely the safest route for businesses and employees. Calling 911 right away, um, being a good witness, uh, not intervening, um, keeping them safe uh, and the property, just life is more important than property. In Stockton, Josie Hart, KCRA 3 News. And Stockton police are asking anyone with information in either case to call their Crime Stoppers tip line.